Currently, I treat adult and pediatric patients uh, with epilepsy. Um, as a neurosurgeon, we work together with a very large team of neurologists, radiologists, um, other specialists as well, towards working up patients with epilepsy. And once we do some non-invasive tests, that's typically the neurologist's role, then they are referred to the neurosurgeon to enact a surgical plan. And sometimes we have to investigate further with a surgical procedure called stereoelectroencephalography, which is a tongue twister, or stereo EEG, as we call it. Uh, whereby we implant small, delicate electrodes into the brain in a very safe, controlled way to make a map or of the electrical um, architecture of the brain. And that way you can record where a seizure might start and spread. Epilepsy surgery is very much a quality of life type surgery. For most patients that we meet, they're having seizures throughout their, um, the last few years of their lives, some of them for all their life. And so what we can offer is not always a guarantee that the seizures will be gone, but that doesn't mean that we don't try our best to improve things for them, which means improving their seizure burdens, maybe they're less frequent or less severe in nature, and of course offering the chance for seizure freedom. What we know about epilepsy is that two-thirds of the time medicines will work for a new diagnosis of epilepsy in a patient. But that means that there's another one-third of patients who will not benefit from just medications and they need something more. And that's where surgery can make a big difference for patients like this. Coming in, they know to expect that we're going to be implementing a surgical plan. I always take my time. I never want to rush anybody into a decision. Um, these are very heavy and difficult decisions at times. Once we have decided to move ahead, then we help assist with planning and getting a surgical date and of course, surgery itself. My patient care philosophy is simply that patients come first. Um, you know, all we can do is our very best to offer some options that are life-changing. Surgery is scary, surgeons recognize that. And so that's one thing I have in mind when I'm talking to patients or you know, adult and pediatric patients and their families.